Good morning, my dear students. It gives me great pleasure to talk to students through video presentations like this as usual. In this particular video presentation, we'll discuss some more problems on solution of trigonometric equations. First problem goes like this. Get the general solution of sine phi theta plus sine 3 theta plus sine 4 theta is equal to 0. Now answer, it goes like this. Just listen carefully. Sine phi theta plus sine 3 theta plus sine 4 theta is equal to 0. Which implies 2 sine phi theta plus 3 theta by 2 cos phi theta minus 3 theta by 2 sorry cos phi theta minus 3 theta by 2 plus sin 4 theta is equal to 0 <coughs> just listen carefully now because of the rule sin c plus sin d which will automatically imply you 2 sin 4 theta plus cos theta plus sin 4 theta is equal to 0 here 8 theta by 2 is 4 theta here 2 theta by 2 is simply theta which should, I'll, I'll be able to take sin 4 theta as common 2 cos theta plus 1 is equal to 0 implies sin 4 theta is equal to 0 or 2 cos theta plus 1 is equal to 0 implies 4 theta is equal to n pi n element of z or I need to say cos theta is equal to minus half implies theta is equal to n pi by 4 n element of z or here I need to say in two quadrants cosine is negative value of cosine will be negative second and third quadrant out of which i'll think about the quantity nearer to zero which is the one with the second quadrant and for here i'll write it as cos 180 degrees minus 60 degrees which implies theta is equal to n pi by 4 n element of z or cos theta is equal to cos how much is this you can just think about cos 180 degrees minus 60 degrees which is minus cos 60 degrees which is minus half cos 60 is half okay minus half therefore it is anyway 120 degrees which implies theta is equal to n pi by 4 n element of z or cos theta is equal to cos in terms of uh, it will be 120 degrees how do you identify pi radians equal to 180 degrees therefore 1 degree is pi by 180 radians for 120 degrees is pi by 180 into 120. How do you write this? 2 pi by 3. I'll write this as 2 pi by 3. Okay. Now for theta is n pi by 4 n element of z. Or I end up with theta is 2 n pi plus or minus 2 pi by 3 n element of z. These are the two values ultimately, finally. I repeat the whole process. Sin phi theta plus sin 3 theta plus sin 4 theta is 0. 2 sin phi theta plus 3 theta by 2 cos phi theta minus 3 theta by 2 plus sin 4 theta is 0. 2 sin 4 theta. Sorry, here it is not a plus, it is simply product. Sorry, this is a small correction. I corrected here as well. Sorry. 2 sin 4 theta into cos theta plus sin 4 theta is 0. I wrote it as plus here. Sorry. Take sin 4 theta as common, 2 cos theta plus 1 is 0, 
either sine 4 theta is 0 or 2 cos theta plus 1 is 0. 4 theta is a multiple of pi n pi n element of z. Okay, these are all different things. Just see here, this I wanted to find out the radian measure. Okay, just listen carefully. 4 theta is n pi n element of z or cos theta is minus half. Theta is n pi by 4 n element of z or cos theta is cos 180 minus 60. Just think over cos 180 degrees minus 60 degrees can be written as minus cos 60 degrees is minus half. Now for this is 120 degrees, 120 degrees is nothing but 2 pi by 3. Pi by 3 is 62 into 60 is 120 is correct. Now for theta either becomes n pi by 4 n element of z or theta is equal to 2 n pi plus or minus 2 pi by 3 n element of z is the general solution. Is the general solution. Is the general solution. You can write ultimately. That is the way you get the answer. That is the way you get the answer. I hope it's clear to everybody. Just you need to give full attention to understand what is being done. It may be from any chapter, your attention is more important to understand the whole lot, whole concept behind any problem. Be attentive, you'll be able to follow seriously. Next sum, solve cos 7 theta plus cos 3 theta plus cos 5 theta is equal to 0. Let me group as it is. If I have to group first and third or second and third, accordingly we should do. Just think over. This will be 2 cos, it is not minus 2, sorry. 2 cos 7 theta plus 3 theta. 2 cos 7 theta plus 3 theta by 2 cos 7 theta minus 3 theta by 2 plus cos 5 theta is equal to 0 cos c plus cos d usage of cos c plus cos d formula 2 cos 5 theta plus cos 2 theta sorry into even the previous sum I wrote it as plus into into cos 2 theta plus cos 5 theta is equal to 0. Sorry, it is only product here. Now take cos 5 theta as common. 2 cos 2 theta plus 1 is equal to 0. Now for cos 5 theta is equal to 0 or I mean to say 2 cos 2 theta plus 1 is equal to 0 implies cos 5 theta is equal to cos 5 by 2. The nearest value, nearest to 0 where Sine is 0, 0 between 0 and 360 degrees. The value nearest to 0 is pi by 2. I take it, take that as alpha here. Or here you mean to say cos theta is equal to cos 2 theta is minus of implies cos pi theta is equal to cos pi by 2 or cos 2 theta is equal to cos 2 pi by 3. Just now we have seen in the previous problem. Cos 120 degrees is minus of the same thing is being applicable here. Phi theta is equal to 2 n pi plus or minus pi by 2 n element of z or 2 theta is equal to let me use another pen this page or or Two theta is equal to two n pi plus or minus two pi by three, which implies theta is equal to two n pi by five plus or minus pi by ten n element of z or theta is equal to n pi plus or minus pi by three n element of z is the general solution is the general solution. We can check once again. I need to solve cos 7 theta plus cos 3 theta plus cos 5 theta equal to 0. This particular equation we have to solve. We can group either the first and second or first and third or second and third. We should just think over which can be clapped. 
Here, grouping the first and second, I'll be able to simplify further. Using cos c plus cos d formula, it gets reduced to 2 cos 7 theta plus 3 theta by 2, cos 7 theta minus 3 theta by 2 plus cos 5 theta is 0. 2 cos 10 by 2 is 5 phi theta. Here it is only into, not plus here. 4 by 2 is 2, 2 theta plus cos phi theta is 0. Take cos phi theta as common into 2 cos 2 theta plus 1 is 0. Cos phi theta is 2 cos 2 theta plus 1 is 0. Cos phi theta is cos phi by 2 or cos 2 theta is minus of. Cos phi theta is cos phi by 2 or cos 2 theta is cos 2 pi by 3. Just now we have seen cos 2 pi by 3 is cos 120 degrees. Can be written as cos 180 degrees minus 60, which is minus cos 60, which is minus of. Just anyway, phi theta is 2 n pi plus r minus pi by 2, n element of z. Or 2 theta is 2 n pi plus r minus 2 pi by 3, n element of z. This is cos. Okay, just see. Now for theta is 2 n pi by phi plus r minus pi by 10. I am dividing by phi here. N element of z is a must, or theta is equal to cancelling 2 everywhere. N pi plus or minus pi by 3, N element of z. That will be the general solution. That will be the general solution. I think it's clear to everybody. Just go through once again if you need some more clarification. Just I am recalling sin c plus sin d formula, the first problem, and using cos c plus cos d formula, the second problem. Thank you students for patient watching, the rest we will discuss in the next video. Thank you.